what is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. This is another Mazda video. Today we'll be doing some little fixes, some little deletes to the Mazda. Um, I have bought myself, let me see if I can show you down here. I've got some proper cheap looking visor delete caps. They were, well you can see, they are very uh, budget, but that's all we like here. Um, and I've also bought a new dirt gator, if you would like to call it that. Or shift the seal because we also bought what well, it came with is the upper boot and i also bought the uh lower boot as well so i don't know what kind of state mine is in and it comes with a nice little nylon ring it's not a complete shifter rebuild kit but they're expensive and to be honest the shifting is not actually that bad on this one um, and i've also bought let's see down here my bag of goodies I've also bought a new OEM radiator cap because, like I said in the last uh, video of the walk around of the Mazda, uh, someone put a D1 one on and it's leaking because it doesn't fit right. So, I've also bought up some screen wash and some gearbox oil just in case the turret, I think it's called, um, is empty. So, I'm going to be showing you how to turn your airbag light off if you've got it on the dash using some resistors or one resistor let's get on and do it the tools you'll need is a 10 mil socket and a phillips screwdriver and probably some wire cutters or a knife to cut the old gator off because i'm sure it's going to be a tricky job so let's get on and do this to get rid of that airbag light you shall need one phillips head screwdriver and the most important thing, some resistors. Well, not some, just one, but I bought a lot. Um, if you need to know, if you don't know where to get these, I'll leave a link in the description below. Um, I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but I have read somewhere that if you put a small resistor and loop it, it should go out. So get one of them free. You will need something to cut these down because they're a bit long, but put that to one side and then you will need to take your Phillips screw head and remove, you've got two screws, one here and one there. Once you have the screws removed, you should be able to unclip this. Let's try this side, all right, there we go, that's one side. And there's the other side. The bottom piece completely comes off, put that to one side. And now, if you fish around, there we go. You should have the factory airbag connection connector and the I don't know I think that's for the horn or something um, so you're left with the airbag plug now what you want to do is grab your resistor and cut it to the correct size so it gets nice and snug and what you want to do is shove it in between the two ends and then I'm hoping that it will stop your airbag light from flashing up on the dash. So I have my resistor cut, should look something like that. Now all I need to do is stick it in there. I'm just gonna put you down so I can do that. So that is the end result. So you, that's what you wanna be aiming for. See that it's nicely tucked in there between the two pins. That ain't going anywhere. So let's see if she works. All you gotta do, start the car. And I'm hoping that airbag light goes out. Hey, look at that. No airbag light. That's just the handbrake light, take that off. No lights on the dash. So yeah, just a little one, boys. And then obviously you just got to put your shroud back together and it's done. To get to that gator in your Mazda MX-5, you will need to remove this whole center console, which is pretty easy to do. All you need to do is first move is to remove your ashtray. And then you want to unscrew your gear knob. Oh God. There we go. Get that out of the way. And then you're left with a screw down there, one Phillips head. Oh, you'll need to pry this window switch out and unplug it. 
then you've got two Phillips heads down there then you've got another Phillips head on the side here and another one right there so I'm gonna undo all of that we'll move on to the next stage now after you've got everything unscrewed your set console should now just release itself it might be tricky to do with one hand there we go all right and then you want to pull it up and then you need to get it wiggle it past your and fuel lid just undo it quickly there we go and then she's free now you can put that to one side mine's got a connection for something to do with the alarm and central locking so i'm not gonna do that and mess it up oh getting every shit everywhere right once you got that out of the way you can see your gator you can see that mine is definitely seen better it is it's completely ripped all the way around hence why i'm going to replace it so now you need to remove your four 10 mil bolts uh, if you use a ratchet i'm going to use a i'm going to be lazy use a gun because i'm about that life right now you should be able to just lift that off look at the state of it so that's the only thing that's keeping the fumes out of your car so i'm going to put that to one side and then if you've got any ugh, sound detonating. So now you've got your lower boot assembly. Again, you can see that mine is completely gone. So that would definitely need replacing. So again, you've got three 10 mils holding it in place. So you want to undo them. Again, I'm going to be lazy. Oh, they're not very tight. Your shifter assembly should just lift out of place. There we go. And then you're left with your shifter assembly, your nylon, uh, I know, bush. It's pretty warm, but I can't see any cracks or anything on it. But that bottom bush has definitely seen better days. So I'm just gonna put the shifter to one side for a minute. And then you can see the turret on the gearbox, and that should be filled with oil. Mine is not. So that is why I've bought some with me. Wow. So it's not a complete shift of rebuild, but hopefully we can do this. So basically what you want to do now is you want to try and cut that nylon sleeve off and remove your old bushing. Okay, so I stripped down my shifter. Now, if you were to... If you were to buy fully rebuild this, now I'm kind of regretting that I didn't, um, you would pop this nylon sleet or bush off and replace that. You can replace it with a brass one for, um, you know, better wear, I believe it's for, or shifter feel. Um, they just literally pop off. And another thing you also replace is this nylon uh, bush with this metal uh, sleeve on it, but I, I haven't bought one of them, so I'm just gonna clean it and reuse it. Um, but I am replacing the both boots and I'm filling up this. I'm using um, some leftover Golf gear oil, 75 Air 90, I think this is. So I'm not sure if it's the correct one, but it's better than none in my eyes. So I'm gonna top that up. Um, to, I don't know, I'm going to fill it so it fills most of that up, I'm guessing. Don't really know. I was just winging it, boys. I have my new boot on. Simple. I've topped the turret up with fluid and I've tightened these down. Now, don't go too tight with these because they don't need to be super tight. But everything's all on. Next thing is you want to spray some lubricant on your shaft to slip over your big main seal i'll tell you something all right if you can get that boot on with that little sleeve around it then props to you because i've 
been here about 20 minutes and I cannot slip that on the gator on with the ring on so I'm not putting it on so this is how we left you're supposed to this is supposed to sit here you slip it over I cannot get it over with that even though it just slips right over um, I'm just gonna put a cable tie there or something because I cannot get it on but that should oh. That's all this all fitted nicely. Um, I'm just gonna put the center console back on and then we'll move on to the sun visors. All right, sun visors should be pretty easy. You just pull them down and you've got these two screws here. So remove them and that's what they look like. Not too bad. But now I can see where I'm going. Where it's on this side, you can see even with them up, it just takes that little Bit of the windscreen to piss you off so i'm hoping that'll be better now i'll do the other side and then all we've got left to do is add some screen wash and change the radiator cap let's get on with it boys i'm pretty sure you all know how to change the radiator cap but you can see how much mine's on the piss you can see that it's been leaking when driving and it's making me lose coolant so i'm just gonna crack this bad boy off still got water in it a bonus slap the new one on there she is much better fits much nicer right and then this is empty as well i think so we'll fill that up and then let's top up that screen wash top the water up i will do a coolant change on this soon but for now the essentials boys that is going to be it for this video guys everything is done so recap done all the shifter bushing or shifter gaiters Delete the sun visors, fix the airbag, new radiator cap, screen wash. Nothing crazy, but a start to the build. Anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe for more, subscribe for more. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.